what should we do with the time series? Which model should we use? It? And this problem is there with the time series. Which model should we use? Should we use simple OLS? Should we use VAR? Should we use vector error correction? So there are many problems and students usually get confused. Now in this session, we are going to discuss which model should we use? What should we do? What should we do? Now, first of all, let us visit again. First of all, you have to find out the unit root. Whether the series are stationary at level or they are stationary at first difference or they are stationary with the second difference. This is the first step we are to do in all the cases. We are to go with the unit root test and we should see the stationarity with the zero integrated with zero, integrated with one or integrated with two. We are going to discuss this vector RO vector auto regression or auto regression integrated moving average. Now this is Arima and Arma. We use it only for single series. If there is single series, we can use that. And then we have to see how we are going to go ahead with the regression. See, what is the difference between VAR and ARIMA families? Basic requirements to use VAR model, vector auto regression model, are number one, there should be time series with at least two variables. VAR model, but there should be at least two variables, dependent variable, independent variable, at least two. Now, there should be relationship between these two variables. It is considered to be autoregressive model because the predictions made by the model are dependent on the past values, which means that each observation is modeled as the function of its lagged value. We can have the lagged values of dependent variable and independent variable. So if there is single series, so it depends upon the lagged value of the dependent. Similarly, it can independent variables, it can have a lagged value. So model can depend upon this. The basic difference between ARIMA family and VAR model is that all the ARIMA models are used for univariate time series, single time series. ARIMA is used as single time series. Whereas the VAR models works with multivariate time series. VAR is always for multivariate time series. If, uh, if it can be the function of X, it can be the function of X and uh, X1 and X2 and X3 like this. In addition, ARIMA models are unidirectional model, unidirectional, one direction only, which means that dependent variables are influenced by their past or lag values itself, where VAR is bidirectional model, which means a dependent variable is affected by its past value or by another value or influenced by both the things. Say, y is the function of x, but it can be x is the function of y. x is the function, for instance, demand, quantity. Quantity is the function of price, but price also can be the function of demand. No? So just like simultaneous equation. So var, 
in that case we are going to use var arima is first single unit you built single uh, univariate time series var is a bidirectional model now vector auto regression multiple equations which uh, i am going to show it to you this yt is equal to alpha alpha is constant plus b11 so you can write it here b1 b2 b3 whatever is there you can also write down a b c d there is no problem yt minus 1 means lagged of this lagged of this dependent variable we can also take the second lag of y that is t minus 2 that is the second lag plus then x t minus 1 so we have got the lag of x which is your independent variable and then we can take the second lag of x that is t minus 2 and then there is error now this equation because here y t depends upon x but x also depends upon y so we can also write it here x t is equal to alpha 2 Plus beta to one plus y t minus one because that was the here we are using the lag of y t one so lag of second lag of y t minus two and plus same way as we have write written it here in the case of y t same way so x t minus one and x t two minus one and then there will be error so this kind of this is called war multiple equation or vector auto regression. very simple because y depends upon x x depends upon y but also depends on its own lagged values own lagged values so co integration co integration now y t is equal to a plus b x t plus u t this is what we are going we have seen it this is u t is an error and we can frame the single co integration equation as in the case of eg egnel kranger co integration so what is that difference of y first difference of y plus a plus lagged value of first difference first lag value of first difference of this plus lagged value of xt minus 1 so b1 so plus b3 the error which is coming here we are going to take the lag value of that error so this will become our co integration now ut minus 1 can also be written as here as ut minus 1 can also be written as yt minus a minus b1 what is ut if you take this a this side bxt this side so this will be y minus a minus bxt plus error the adjustment coefficient that is b3 must be negative and significant that i have told now this this is a single equation but you can make such equation by johnson co integration vector error correction model that you are called so there are two methods of co integration eg and johnson's but in both the cases this coefficient of this one is adjustment which we are going to make during the period is should be negative and significant now what are the steps of model selection first one is steps first one is test the unit root observe series whether it is i0 or i1 if i1 means stationary at level i0 means stationary at level and stationary at first difference is i1 that is your that is your step 1 which you must do it now what is the model one after test testing with the unit root if all variables are stationary if you test a uh, unit root and if all variables are stationary at i0 you have tested the unit root all variables are stationary at i0 
simply apply OLS. Simply apply OLS, ordinary least square method. Simply apply it and you regress it. You will get yt is equal to a plus bx it plus bx2 it. That is ut. So this is the way you are going to simple regression. You can do it in Excel. You can do it in uh, in uh, in eViews. You can do it in SPSS. So there is no issue. Now, if there are multiple endogenous variables, say yt and xt, because they depend upon each other, they are endogenous variables, we can use var and regress as, as I have already told you in case of var, var is what yt is equal to alpha plus b11 yt minus 1 plus b12 yt minus 2 plus lambda. I have taken it at the lambda. You can take anything as a coefficient xt minus 1 plus x1 to xt minus 2 plus error. But now var, because y depends upon x, x depends upon y. So second equation will be xt is equal to alpha 2 plus b2, 1, b, yt minus 1, beta to yt minus 2. Similarly, we, we add the independent variables lags and then error. So in var, there will be two equations. But in case of single variable, when there is no var, so we can say y is equal to a plus bx i t plus b2. This is a simple OLS equation. Now, what is the second model? If all variables are i1, that is they are with the level at first difference and are of same order. You can't apply OLS as it will give you spurious regression. Check co integration either Angel Granger co integration or Johnson's co integration. If no, so suppose there is no co integration, there is no co integration. Now, as in, as in our earlier session, we have seen that it says no co integration. Then simply OLS, ordinary least square with the first difference. Now, you because there is a they are not stationary at level, they are stationary at first difference. So you will have to use OLS with the first difference or bar with the first difference. Bar also you have to use with the first difference. Now, if there is co-integration, use OLS at level and then VECM if multiple equation, as in case of Johnson's co-integration or single equation angel Granger co-integration, we can use error correction mechanism or vector error connection. I repeat, if all the variables are at level, not at level, but at first difference, but are of the same order. You can't apply OLS. If there is co-integration, use OLS at level and then VECM. You can use it, Johnson's co-integration, or you can use Angel Granger co-integration. But in case of Johnson co-integration, we use vector error correction. If no OLS, if no co-integration, simply use OLS or VAR because VAR is the, because VAR means there are, the variables are endogenous variables. They affect each other. So VAR with first difference, you will have to do it. Okay. But it will be with OLS. Model three, if multiple results with unit roots say few variables are few variables are are stationary at level and few variables are few variables are stationary at first difference big confusion if few variables are integrated at zero and few variables are integrated at one then we cannot go with the co integration we cannot go with the ols we check the co-integration with ARDL. 
this system is there in uh, eviews you can use the eviews but you can't use other uh, softwares like excel or spss check cointegration with ardl auto regressive distribution latch if no cointegration simply regress ols or var with series with labeled i0 or i1 that is first difference now you will have to use the series which are stationary if they are not stationary once one series is not stationary other series is stationary so what you can do you can use the stationary series which is stationary at level and you can use the first difference which is stationary which series for the series which are stationary at first difference so you will have to use thus those things with while with var if there is no cointegration if there is cointegration then you will have to find out the coefficient with the ardl coefficients method which is there in evs we will discuss more in the coming sessions if required that how we can find out the coefficient with ardl coefficient so this is a simple uh, cointegrating equation but you will have to use ardl that is the provision in available it is there now model 4 is for simple series simple univariate series we can use arma and arima arma is used when the series series is stationary arima is used when the series is not stationary arima models are also known as box denkin methodology for single time series they are used forecasting techniques based on exponential smoothing general assumption for the above models time series data are represented as the sum of the two distinct components is deterministic deterministic and random random noise is generated through independent shocks to the process in practice successive observations so serial dependence we will learn in next chapters next sessions about this thanks for listening to me and i want that all of you should subscribe uh, my channel for the future videos thank you you may submit your research work at journal of global economy rcssindia.org your work is evaluated by peers with double blind methodology you will get comments for your work thank you